Hi, I'm WSFR. My name is Steve Roberts. I'm the owner of KX3Helper.com and W1SFR.com. And today I'm going to show you how to uh, put my antenna kit together, what you get with the kit, and how to deploy it. So you get the uh, antenna stake. You get the throwing line. You get the 9 to 1 un un. Throwing line comes on a reel. You put it on the line winder. I'll show you how to wind that. Then you get the throwing weight itself. And of course the antenna wire. Alright, so first thing you want to do, you want to take the uh, line off the throwing line off the spool and get it onto your line winder. And it's a very simple process. I've done it on this one already. But you want to make sure that you do it in a figure eight motion like this. And it makes it a lot easier to pull off uh, when you deploy it. So the first thing you're going to do is pay out the uh, line, the throwing line. And it's pretty simple. You just drop the weight. Obviously, you don't want to get it all tangled up. But as you pay it off, you can see that it just comes off pretty easily. And you can, it just pulls right off without getting tangled up. Okay, so you got your line laid out and you just want to hang this at your side. Get the line sort of on one side of you and you just want to swing it around and uh, get this, drop it down fairly close to the ground. And oh, by the way, you want to wear a glove or something on your, at least on your index finger, an old work glove or something, so when the line slides across your finger, doesn't give you a rope burn. Okay, so you want to take some of your uh, some of your throwing line, of course you can use any kind of throwing line, and you want to tie it on to the end of the uh, un un here. Okay, so what I do is I tie that on the end there, run this through the stake, and then I run it around again around the uh, around this stud here around the stud like so and just provide some uh, uh, pressure relief on the uh, antenna wire and start pulling that up and then you just tie it off on your tree anywhere where it's convenient on this end all right now we're just going to hook the coax up to the antenna and we're going to run it back to the radio That's good. And you want to use uh, 25 feet of coax and ideally you want it to run on the ground because the coax is working as a counterpoise of the ground for the antenna. Okay, so now we're just going to wrap up, so I'm just going to drop the antenna line. I'll go down to the other end and pull that down and just uh, wind the line back on the reel. Oops. That is if you don't want to drop it. And <laughs>
go.